East Africa Rice Conference 2021 will zoom in on thematic topics crucial to agricultural growth and food security in the region. Join scientists and experts on the discussions about integrated rice seed sector development. Integrated Rice Sector Development in a Changing Climate The Integrated Rice Sector Development in a Changing Climate stream will cover integrated rice seed sector development and enhancing sustainability and resilience in local and national rice systems, both with a focus on rice sector development in a changing climate. Climate change is already negatively affecting East African agriculture. While the need for seed systems to adapt and become more resilient is indisputable, the question of how this is best achieved is debated. The dominant seed system development pathway promoted by international development actors is characterized by the formalization and commercialization of the seed sector. Yet, recent research on integrated seed sector development or ISSD in Africa highlights the importance of facilitating interactions between both formal and informal seed systems to encourage the development of a pluralistic seed sector with roles for both the public and private sectors, as well as for farmers, community seed producers, and NGOs. Thus, a focus on quality seed of farmer-preferred rice varieties from whatever source is a critical feature of ISSD. Furthermore, Climate-smart rice-based production technologies can all enhance the sustainability and resilience of rice-based agri-food systems in a time of increasing environmental uncertainty. The adoption of these resource-saving technologies and practices show huge potential for increasing yields in rice, boosting profits of farmers through increasing productivity, promoting diversification, reducing the drudgery of labor, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. This stream will examine documented examples and novel approaches in both national and regional programs in Africa and Asia. Inclusive finance and investment. Agricultural finance and investment constitute the greatest challenge that affects rice production and processing in sub-Saharan Africa. What inclusive agricultural financing and de-risking strategies can be employed to increase financial services access by smallholder rice producers and processors. What effects does inclusive agri-finance on gender equity as well as youth engagement have in making the rice-based food value chains more sustainable? There is an increasing number of medium and large-scale processors in sub-Saharan countries with a positive signal shown by the governments to support such investment through newly set up lending schemes under public-private partnership arrangements. In East Africa, financial inclusion has increased in both rural and urban areas due to high rates of mobile money adoption and use. Today, 72.9% of Kenyans aged 15 and older have a mobile money account. Despite the strong presence of mobile money in rural areas, most farmers remain financially excluded. This thematic stream will draw on new empirical evidence and case studies from various countries in East and West Africa to identify and examine innovators, organizations, and businesses that have disrupted the existing situation of poor access to financial services and investment. Agricultural policy reforms, production, nutrition, and market. Many developing countries do not produce enough food to feed their own populations. These countries import food to fill the deficit. Better quality food imported at lower prices benefits the lives of millions of urban residents while negatively affecting rural populations engaged in farming activities for domestic markets who struggle to compete. National food security is one of the most important targets for such countries' governments by adopting various agricultural policies that influence domestic agriculture production and agricultural products importation. In the case of the rice subsector in East Africa, rice imports increased by more than 600% in the last two decades. Domestic rice production also increased significantly but could not keep pace with the rapid growth and consumption 
which has necessitated the gap being filled with imports, mainly from Asian countries. The prolonged COVID-19 pandemic has also influenced the agricultural sector in general and disrupted rice production and rice value chain in particular. This thematic stream will focus on a number of case studies drawn from experiences of the Coalition for African Rice Development, or CARD, and other initiatives in East Africa and other rice-dependent nations to understand how agricultural policies can positively influence innovation and transformation in rice-based agri-food systems at local, national, and regional levels. Join the discussion towards East Africa's agri-food systems transformation and development.